Breathe. Tari, breathe. In May of 2015, it was normal. A normal day, and we were going to a church picnic, and we were driving in the car, and all of a sudden, the car started to shake. And I looked to my mom, I'm like, Mom, what is that? She's like, I don't know. And that's the last thing I remember about that day. Next thing I woke up, but I couldn't move because at that moment, which I didn't know, I had broken my neck. You know, and I'm still thinking it's it's the Saturday morning of the church picnic. Three days has passed. I just was completely in shock, knowing that I was paralyzed from the neck down. I had to train my arm to go left, to go right, to go up, to go down. I knew someone would have to take care of me. But knowing that with rehab and prayer, and it wasn't going to be that way all of the time. After my injury, it took, I would say, a month for me to come to the realization that my life is not going to be the same. Mercer government's primary focus is working with state Medicaid agencies to provide an entire array of services to help those public servants employed by state governments provide Medicaid benefits to individuals within their states. The Medicaid program provides coverage to over 75 million Americans across the country. And what Mercer does is stand alongside those, those public service in those states to make sure that they are delivering that Medicaid benefit as effectively and efficiently as possible. We're helping a state be a better purchaser of care. A member is getting better service. Medicaid is the federal program started in 1965 by the Social Security Act. And it began to cover uh, moms, babies, disabled people, elderly. One day, somebody came to her room and told her about these programs that she'll be able to come home. But first, we had to get the home ready. I didn't know I needed a ramp in my home. I didn't know I needed my doors wide, and I didn't know you had to have this kind of sink and this kind of bed. If I didn't have the Medicaid waiver program, I would probably still be in the nursing home. There was no way we can afford those changes to my home. Medicaid serves an incredibly important role and improves the quality of life and the quality of care for its recipients. When that person came to her to let her know they have a program that can get you home, that's when she really, really started just doing more than she ever had since the accident. She started drawing more. My art now, after my injury, I'm doing it for myself, but I'm doing it for others who wouldn't see a person with a spinal cord injury draw. Things don't take a day anymore, they take a month. But I can honestly say that I believe my drawings have gotten better. I want to say because I'm drawing more and I'm being more intentional with my movements now. Mercer government initially started serving state Medicaid agencies in, in 1985 and over the course of the last couple of decades have increasingly provided those services to more and more states. The work we do has a direct connection and impact in, in the world we live in. We have clinicians, we have pharmacists, we have information data science professionals, we have CPAs. I mean, pretty much every discipline you can imagine that works in healthcare gets involved in our consulting projects. Just to have that program to come to me, I didn't have to come to it, it came to me, and that's why I'm here in my community. That's the most important thing, and that's what I want for other people who may be in the nursing home. There was a picture of me and the president and the vice president of the United States speaking in the Rose Garden for the Americans with Disability Act. Please welcome Tyree Brown. When I was in my car accident, I heard my mom say, breathe. And then when I get to the White House, Kamala Harris is telling me, breathe, take that moment. And it all came full circle, if you think about it. Breathing for my life, or just breathing for a moment to speak to millions of people. If I think about my time working in a state agency and my time working with Mercer Consultants, there aren't a better, more expert, more caring group of people who are bringing all that they can to help that population every day. If I was to say one thing that differentiates us that's not um, 
quantifiable by certificates or designations or years of experience. It's just that ethos of service and commitment to the client satisfaction and success. Our people are, number one, they, they really are bought into that mission. They are 100% supportive of that. They believe in what we do. They believe in the populations we serve and they believe in the public servants we support. I'm just really grateful that I'm even here today. It just takes one word, breathe. And when you're breathing, there's life. And I thank God for it.